Today we live in a world where so many people are just stimulating dopamine so much throughout the day through so many different things, especially when looking at things such as porn, mobile phones, iPads, laptops, movies, the list just goes on and on and on. And most people are not even aware that they are a dopamine addict and they are using these things in a way that certain people would with substances they take to alter them state and make them feel better or numb out. So recently, I wanted to start experimenting with dopamine fast. And I'm gonna to explain to you what type of dopamine fast I did because if you go and research into this, different people are gonna say different things. And you can go as extreme as you want to with this. And what I would personally call a true dopamine fast, which isn't what I did, would be going into a darkness dome and just being completely still and silent, not talking or doing anything whatsoever for an extended period of time. And I'm actually gonna do a darkness dome soon. If you don't know about this, it's a dome that's completely pitch black. You don't know what the time is. And what I would do is combine that with a dry fast or a water fast at the same time, which I know is gonna be one of the most challenging things that I've ever done in my life. But what I did with the type of dopamine fast recently that I did for 36 hours was abstain from the use of all digital devices. So no use of mobile phones, no making videos, no using electronic watches, like no digital devices whatsoever. Because most people aren't aware that looking at these lights that are just going in your face and being around devices that emit EMS, which are known as electromagnetic frequencies, have a stress response on the body. They get our body to produce an abundance of dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter. And if you don't know any details about this neurotransmitter, I would recommend that you do as much research up on this as you can, but dopamine, makes us feel really good mentally, it boosts our mood, it improves our cognitive functions, and it is our reward system. Because when we go towards something such as a phone, it releases the dopamine, and that's what makes us want to come back to use it again and again and again, because it's giving us that dopamine in abundance and lighting up that reward system, which is really, really good that we've got this in place because if we was in our natural habitat, it really helps us to feel a lot of energy because without dopamine, you will not have energy. It gives you loads of motivation and drive to then go out and search for food. And then when you eat food, it gives you dopamine as well. But in a healthy way, unlike an unhealthy way with all of these electronic devices that most people are using, especially in the Western world. There's been people that have done certain scientific studies that have actually scanned the brain to watch the activity of it when you use things such as electronic devices and other various things. And it has been shown that it lights up certain parts of the brain in the exact same way that certain drugs would. That people sell on the street that could be euphorics or stimulants or disassociatives and the list just goes on and on and on. And these companies that have created these things want to make them as addictive as possible because then you come back and use it again and again and again and again. They're very, very clever. They work with scientists to work out how to make you hooked on whatever they want you to be hooked on. So you can be the biggest consumer possible and then what it results in is increasing those companies' profits as much as possible. So yeah, me and my girlfriend have been wanting to do this for a while. And then two days ago she said, Let's do it. And I was like, sure, why not? So we both embarked on this journey together and I'm so, so grateful that we did this because it was a really, really positive experience that I needed because I am someone where my job is online as a YouTuber and I run other online businesses and I run an Instagram page and do many other different things that require me to spend a lot of time on digital devices. And I know it's not the best thing for me. I know the best thing would be for my life, for me to be the best and maximize my longevity in health is to completely abstain from all electronic device use completely. 
but it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make to fulfill my life purpose and passion to share as much information as I possibly can with people. And that's just something that I accept and I'm absolutely fine with it. So yeah, apart from not using electronic devices, we also agreed to have no sex whatsoever because sex is something that can massively produce a lot of dopamine and also avoiding the consumption of junk foods in the future we will not consume any foods and fast completely but at the moment my body is not wanting to do any longer fast so that's why we did not do it so we pretty much just stuck to whole foods that are plant-based and also doing something that i've done for many many years the majority of the time over the last five years which is doing no fat so no self pleasure with any sexual acts at all all and no exercise and no drinks whatsoever that is stimulating which I don't consume caffeine anyway so that is something that I do on a regular basis yeah and I'm telling you now if you told a lot of people out there especially in the western world to do this they're gonna say no they're gonna freak out completely because they are such an addict especially to these electronic devices and most people are just not being in the present moment whatsoever when you're doing these things they are stimulating you so much and they're just taking you so much out of the present moment and we see it time and time again especially when I went to Singapore and you go and go to other big busy cities almost everyone is on their mobile phones it's absolutely crazy so many people are just looking at these bright lights just flashing at them and they have just become addicted to them like you would with certain addictive drugs. And it's affecting people in such a negative way more than most people will ever be aware. And I recommend if you've not done this type of thing before that you experiment with it. We're going to start doing it once every week. And for me and my girlfriend, it's a really positive experience. And I'm going to share my own personal experience because obviously my girlfriend's not in this video. I'm not going to share her experience because I'm not her. So I cannot be fully aware of everything that went on for her. But what I found is through this 36 hour dopamine fast, I felt way more calmer and serene, more happier. My cognitive functions were more optimized. Energy levels were more stable. And I just found that my whole time of doing this dopamine fast just made me feel such more of a deep sense of fulfillment and inner peace. And it just, well, my body just absolutely loved it. It's exactly what I needed and wanted and it felt really good for me to do this. And what I wanna say is, you can really tell if you are an addict to certain things when you pull it away with a dopamine fast like I did. So, during this whole time, I didn't have any like massive withdrawal symptoms or any withdrawal symptoms from the things I was avoiding whatsoever. I had no massive cravings at all where I had to resist and be self discipline and, and just really enforce my self-control to avoid them whatsoever. It just didn't come up with those things at all, which is really, really good. But most people you're going to find when they avoid them, they're going to just become super, super aware that they really want to use it. This just like inner thing just overtakes them when they're like, I must have it. I need this. Give it to me. Like It's just most people are just living in such a dopamine junkie world and they will be like that until they go to their grave when their life ends. And it's of such detriment to people. And I think everyone should be doing some sort of dopamine fast on a regular basis. I also found my mind was just way, way quieter and calmer. And the majority of time throughout the day, it just felt that I was being very, very mindful. So it felt like a form of meditation almost throughout the whole time of this 36 hour dopamine fast. And it also got me to rest more. And by actually not having all of these things stimulating me, I was laying there when we was doing the dopamine fast in the morning yesterday. And then I got to a point where I was like, oh, okay, let's do this thing and this thing. So I started tidying up the house and just getting things organized and getting on top of things that I hadn't been getting on top of. And then I wanted to read a book on something that just taught me some very valuable things. And what we just found throughout the whole 36 hours of this dopamine fast, we just got so much done. 
which was really, really good because there are things that had needed to be done for a while, especially because I moved into my girlfriend's house recently. The house is a mess. It's got stuff everywhere in my boxes and we really need to get on top of things. And it really made us like improve what you would say, the feng shui in the house. So then the energy is more flowing throughout the house and it just feels a much more optimal and calmer environment for us to live in. So yeah, we did things such as just being still and in the present moment, meditation. My girlfriend did yoga at one point. Also, I read the book. She read some of the book later to me in the day. We spent time just connecting with each other without being sexual at all, just a bonding and being close to each other. Having a lot of good, deep conversations throughout the day. We went to the beach and we did snorkeling, and we just had such a full day that just was a very, very fulfilling, non-stimulating day. And then later on, one thing led to another where we went to a certain place to go and eat, and I was like, nah, let's not eat there. Let's go and eat way, way cleaner food because the place he's gonna eat at, the food could be quite oily. So we went to another place, and then we saw one of Rachel's best friends, and then she was with someone else, and I have interacted with this person briefly, said hello to him before. And we just sat with them for ages and we just had such good deep conversations about so many different conscious topics and just about things that really nourish you and fulfill you. So yeah, if we hadn't been doing this dopamine fast, we wouldn't have ended up there. So it was really, really amazing human interaction happened between all of us. And that is what so many people are lacking in their life. This is why so many people are addicted to their phones and things such as Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and these other social media platforms, because a lot of people do not have people in their life that uplift them and help them become a better version of themselves. A lot of time people are surrounded by pessimistic victim mentality, people that are very, very negative, that bring you down, that are just really unfulfilling and dissatisfying. So then there's a lot of people that are wanting to connect with people online, and we are just in a world today and this is an epidemic where so many people have so many online friends but they don't have a lot of very high quality friends in their reality so you need to make more of a conscious choice to bring more of the ideal people into your life stop using your phone so much and actually connect with people face to face because that is going to help you to live the most amazing, healthiest, beautiful human experience that you could ever live. And it is just a basic human need. The zone to ponder is, I've had this experience many times and I'm sure you have as well. When you actually go to meet someone where the connection is so amazing and it makes you so in the present moment, it's so uplifting, do you care about using your digital devices whatsoever? No, of course you don't whatsoever. So you need to just get more of those types of connections in your life and then you'll wanna start using electronic devices way, way less. And yeah, it's very interesting throughout this 36 hour dopamine fast of just being mindful of my mind. Cause there'd be certain things that maybe I wanna learn about and I'd be like, oh, quickly I get my phone and learn that. Or I'm gonna to go to the toilet now, let's lose the phone. Or this would be good to make an Instagram story for, or this or that or that. And I would just observe that for and just be completely mindful of it and just let it go and move on with my life. But it's amazing how many times we think throughout the day of certain things that make us want to use our phone. I think that's just a great mindfulness practice that everyone needs to have in their life. And yeah, what I noticed even leading up to the 36 hour window, I didn't want to use any electronic devices whatsoever. I said to myself, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't whatsoever, but I wanted to make this video, I wanted to share a video that I posted just as we started the 36 hour dopamine fast. And I'm really glad I've got to that place because throughout this whole experience, it's then alongside what I just mentioned, allowed me to be more introspective around my use of electronic devices. And now that I coming back to them, it's just gonna make me even more mindful than I was around them previously. And what I wanna say is, for around four years, I have not checked notifications on Facebook. I have an add-on on my internet browser. So when I go on Facebook, I can't see anybody's posts at all. When I make posts on Facebook, and I've also done this for years, I don't go and check for likes or comments whatsoever because this 
gives you a surge of dopamine and then messes up your dopamine production and makes you more of a dopamine addict to come back to it more and more and more and more. I don't follow anyone on Instagram, I haven't done this for ages. I don't ever scroll through Instagram or anybody's profiles on Facebook. So I'm already very mindful around this, but there's always room for improvement with anything. So this is just helping me with this 36 hour doping fast that I did to improve with it even more. So I can become less and less addicted to these things that can produce dopamine. And it's helping me to go back even more so in a direction how I've been many times before, where I would only use my digital devices twice within a day. Once within the morning to get all of my online admin work and other jobs done. And then there would be another time where I would film a video and then once I've done that, edit that, edit that, upload that and when I have done that I would just not use my digital devices for the rest of the day and I found that that just works the best for me from what I have experienced from my own personal experience. So what I want to say around this it's not about not using electronical devices at all it's just being mindful around your use of them and most people are unconsciously brainlessly just using them without being aware of their usage whatsoever. So I am always trying to get to a place where the majority of the time, I'm only using electronical devices to be as productive as possible. And this is what I would recommend with you. Don't just go and watch brainless entertaining videos online or look at porn or do some other thing that is just not helping you become a better version of yourself and teaching you some valuable information. And just be very, very mindful around your use as much as you possibly can. And I'm going to tell you, when you reduce your usage of these electronic devices and other things that stimulate dopamine and maybe eliminate some of them fully, it's just going to have such an amazing life-changing effect on you more than I could ever explain to you. It's something that you need to personally experience to fully understand it. And yet most people, what I would say to them is just get off the fucking internet. Just stop wasting your life away on internet. Yes, I'm not saying don't use it whatsoever, but if you come online, for example, and watch one of my videos that's sharing some very valuable information with you, learn that information, and then get off the internet and fully put that information to use for you. Don't then go onto another video and another video from this person and that person, and I've been someone that's fallen a victim to this before because YouTube can be very, very addictive, where you just have the feed of videos coming up, and like, I watched that video and watched that one. This one could be brainless, this one's entertaining. And I can get to a point where I'm like, oh, I'm doing very productive things. But then I start to observe what I'm doing, and a lot of time I can see, yes, I am being productive and very useful with my time on YouTube, but then there's many times where I'm just wasting my life away and being very brainless with it and just being a full on consumer. And yeah, one last thing I mentioned is we've got so many people that are sick and overweight, obesity is an epidemic, and then you've got all these types of people, they work a job that they hate and is dissatisfied, most of them in relationships that are not fully compatible with them and not fully fulfilling, they're surrounded by normally loads of negative people that don't bring them up and bring them down completely, and then they normally go and work these jobs, get home, they feel very tired and deflated because they're not looking after themselves, they're going to bed late and eating junk foods and just numbing out with these addictive junk foods. I talked about that more in a video. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go and check that out. And then they go and watch TV or brainless entertainment on YouTube and they're just like, oh. They're just like de-evolving themselves and just becoming very dumb and numb. And then they wonder why they're so sick and so obese. And it's like, man. So many people, where they've got themselves to in their life and themselves, it's like, really, come on, wake up. Start changing your life in so many different ways. It's not always going to be easy, but if you want to live the best human experience possible, you're not going to do what is easy. You're going to do things that challenge you and allow you to grow and evolve and to help you improve within your life and yourself so you can just live the best human experience that you could ever live, which is your birthright. And if you're someone that does any type of dopamine fasting, let us know what you do for dopamine fasting. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, share this with others and please click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on specific things such as intermittent fasting, dopamine fasting, dry fasting, water fasting, weight loss, training, with your own body weight rather than having to have a gym membership and using weights and just being very robotic 
and many other different videos that can share with you an abundance of educational and inspirational, motivational messages to help you go in a direction to improve your life and help you become the best version of yourself and hopefully help you create more of a life that you desire. So if this type of video sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.